I used to waste so much time doing simple stuff in Premiere and I had no idea how inefficient my workflow was until I learned these five tricks. And I'm gonna show them to you. Let's say you somehow lost your audio that was linked to this video. Happens all the time. Well, instead of double clicking your video in the project panel and searching for it manually, simply select a clip without the audio and hit F on your keyboard. That will instantly reveal the selection of your clip in the source panel. And from here, all you gotta do is click the audio icon. Very important and drag it straight into the timeline. No need for searching and syncing. When I first discovered this trick, I was mind blown. So I hope it helps you guys out. Let's move on to trick number two, creating an adjustable Premiere Pro template. Now I don't mean a mogurt, a real text animation. All you gotta do is adjust the text and the animation will still work perfectly fine. Let me show you how to create this. So first click the text tool in the toolbar and go to the program monitor. In here, click and start typing something. It doesn't matter what because it's just a placeholder. When you're done, head over to the properties panel and in here, make sure your text layer is selected. Now make sure it's centered horizontally and vertically. That way, when you change the text, it will always stay centered. Next, we gotta center the text layer itself, of course. And to do that, just click and drag the text box in the middle of the screen while holding control. That will snap it to the middle. And there you go. Next, right click the graphic layer and choose Nest. Call it placeholder. Super important. Next, you wanna create an animation on your placeholder. I came up with a simple animation like this, using a transform and a crop effect. But it doesn't matter what you do. Go full creative mode and when you're done, right click the nested sequence and choose nest again. This time call it text animation preset. Now remove everything in your timeline and head over to the project panel. You'll see the nested sequence you created earlier in here. Click the folder icon and call it text animation or something. Then drag both the sequences related to the animation into that folder. Now all you gotta do is drag the nested sequence into the timeline like this. If you wanna adjust the text, go inside the placeholder, double click and and adjust the text and then close the sequence. Boom! Animation completely intact. Now if you want, you can still create mogurts because those work better, but I'll show you that in a second. First I want to show you trick number three. Removing all the silences in your video with the click of a button. All you gotta do is open up AutoCut. It's an amazing plugin for Premiere Pro that you can use to get rid of your silences in just a few clicks. Isn't that awesome? Oh, and I believe they have a free trial, so I'll leave a link for you guys down below. Let me know how it works out for you guys. Now I'm gonna show you how it works. Once it's open, click the AutoCut Silences button. In here, select whether you want to remove the silences from the entire timeline, your timeline selection, or only from selected clips. I love the last feature, by the way. Make sure your track is selected in the timeline and then click on Validate Sections. You can leave the threshold slider as it is. Minus 46 works perfectly for me every time. Now, to select the pacing of your cuts, choose one of the pacing presets. For my videos, since they're tutorials, I always choose Energetic. If you're editing an interview or podcast, you should use Calm or Measured. By choosing a preset, you can see the exact length of the silence and the padding, which is quite useful. Next, you can actually choose what you want to do with the cuts. You can remove all the silences, keep them, mute them, or remove them and keep the spaces. I'll just leave it at Remove Silences. And now, what's really cool, the transitions. You can enable constant power for smooth and natural cuts, but also play around with the J and L cuts. I use them all the time in my videos, and they're created by AutoCut. Next, click on Remove Silences, and before you know it, your video is edited for you. Again, extremely useful. By the way, only you guys can get 20% off if you use the link in the description down below. Thank you, AutoCut, so much for sponsoring this video. But now, it's time for number four, creating a motion graphics template that you can completely customize to your liking. This is a better version of the Premiere template we created earlier, but you're gonna need After Effects. Let's start by creating a new project. First, click the new composition button and give it a name. For example, text animation. Set the resolution to whatever you need. I'm using this for my YouTube edits, so I'll leave it at 4K. Next, set up the length of the composition. Probably 10 seconds or something should work. Then click OK. Head over to the toolbar and click the text tool. In the program monitor, create a placeholder text like you did before. You can already scale it up if you like. Next, open up the properties panel and in here, make sure the paragraph is centered. That way, when you 
adjust the text in Premiere, it will always stay in the middle. Okay, now it's time to create a simple animation, and this is what I came up with. Nothing fancy. Next, open up the Essential Graphics panel. This is where we'll create the template. Set the primary composition to the composition you're currently using. Text animation. Type in the name of your preset, also text animation, and next, click Solo Supported Properties. Now you can drag stuff like properties from your clips in a timeline into the Essential Graphics panel. Let's start with the source of the text. That way we can adjust it if we want. Change the text in the left box to something like type text here. Now click on edit properties and make sure these are all enabled for customizability. You can also drag other stuff into the essential graphics panel. For example, the opacity property. That way you'll get a slider which you can use to adjust the opacity of the text in Premiere. Now let's say you want to be able to change the fill color of the text also in Premiere. To do that, find the fill effect and drag it to your clip. Expand the properties and click the color property to change the fill color. Then set it to white. And this will be your default text color. Now in the timeline, click and drag the color property into the preset. You can add all kind of properties in here. So go ahead, play around and get back to the video when you're done. Now we'll show you how to send this preset to Premiere Pro. Well, to do that, just click the export Mogurt button and save it somewhere on your computer and then go back to Premiere. Next, open up the templates panel. In here, click the import button and find your template file. Once it's imported, you'll find it back right here in all your projects. All you gotta do now is click and drag it into the timeline and there you go. If you select it, you can go back to the properties panel and in here you'll see all the controls you added to this template in After Effects. Seriously, just spend one day creating mogus for yourself and you'll save hours of time. Trick number five, using Ultra Key for sky replacements. I mean, you can waste hours creating and animating super, super precise masks, which is a hell in Premiere. So instead, just create a simple mask around the sky and add an Ultra Key effect on top. Then you want to tweak the effect until it looks like this. And of course, I actually made a tutorial on how to do that step by step right here in the video on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.